What up, Cage Siders? It's your boy Sean coming at ya. Shout out to my boy Casey for trying to meme me with the uh, the Nakamura finger gest hand gestures and, and the coming at you catchphrase. Uh, how is everybody? I got my cat Frances sitting on my lap. She needs her nails trimmed. She's currently kneading some holes into my thigh. But that's neither here nor there. Um, as you can probably tell if you clicked on the link, edge, the title edge, um, this is this is a little bit more serious than some of my usual bullshit rantings. Um, in the news a lot this week has been, I got another cat coming at me, it's going to ruin the seriousness. Um, cutting the seriousness with cat videos, an internet tradition since 2007, I don't know. Um, so, anyway, in the news a lot this week has been, again, uh, Joni Lauer, China, which she was on, I guess, Opie and Jim, it is called now, a morning show, radio morning show, and, uh, again, you know, is, as she's, as she's promoting this, uh, I guess she's gonna have a documentary, some guy's gonna make a documentary about her, he's got a Kickstarter that's supposed to, like, set the record straight on her and tell the story of her life and change, I, she's, uh, the rhetoric is like that she's gonna retake her legacy or something. Um, and that turned into, again, making allusions to the fact that maybe Triple H hit her when they were in a relationship again. Triple H issued a statement, another one saying that's not true. Uh, Sean Waltman, expat, called in to sort of try to clear the air. It gets confusing. I guess he made peace with a fake Twitter account of hers. This is... It's, you can't even laugh about it. Um, so he called in to try to make peace with the real person after having made peace with this fake Twitter account. And they got into it again where she's alleging that he raped her and didn't get her consent for the sex tape that was released of the two of them. And on and on and on and on and on. Um, we have not covered this on Cage Side Seats, which is not to say that we won't, but um, it's not... Sorry. It's not exactly news. I mean, it is, especially once Triple H comments on it and WWE issues a statement, I guess it becomes news, but um, it doesn't pertain to anything that's going on in the ring today, the product that's being delivered. I, guess, I mean, it could have, it has PR ramifications. I, it is news. I just wish it was. How about that? Um, so this may suffice as our coverage of it. My little, you know, podcast thing about it here. We may run something else. I don't know, but. I am, I'm glad that we are not, like, sensationally throwing up a headline that says, you know, China accuses X-Pac of rape and um, of Triple H of hitting her again, blah, blah, blah. Not that, you know, I understand why that happens. It gets clicks. Um, and that's the business, the designness, as Christopher Daniels might say. Um, but I'm going to say, I mean, to, in all seriousness, like I said, from as someone who has personal and professional experience with addiction issues and mental health issues and things of this nature um, and I don't mean to diagnose Joan Lauer um, but there's some recurring themes so with with all disclaimers that I am NOT a medical professional um, here's the thing one of the troubling things about the conversation that went on on the radio show yesterday between uh, Waltman and Lauer is that, you know, she went from completely denying that she had ever used drugs, which, <laughs> come on, to eventually X-Pac got her to admit that, oh yeah, we did some drugs together, I did some coke when I was out with the girls, but it wasn't a problem, blah, 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 blah. As we've seen with Scott Hall this week, thank God. Um, he has taken some steps to address his slip. He, I don't know what exactly his slip was, but he's going to a detox facility. Hopefully that will involve some rehab beyond just getting the drugs and alcohol out of his system, whatever that is. Um, but publicly saying I have fucked up and I'm going to go get somebody to help me with that is huge in dealing with these types of issues. We have not seen that from China at all. Um, 
I have not, I've seen parts of the shows when she was on the Dr. Drew stuff, where she was on Celebrity Rehab or whatever, which is itself is just sort of a loathsome concept, if you ask me. But, um, again, I'm not a medical professional, so that's just one asshole's opinion. Um, but she has not owned up to a lot of stuff, as we say in the, in the recovery community. Um. You know, the, just the fact that she would go on, you know, go out here saying that she's trying to get a clean start and redo some things and then deny some pretty easily verifiable facts. I mean, that one that, her, that she backtracked on by the end of the interview that, you know, she has used cocaine and that she just lied about it, you know, a half an hour earlier in the same conversation. That's not a good sign. Um, and the patterns seem to repeat themselves that when she was on that celebrity rehab show, it was, you know, all about her traumatic past, which I do not mean to minimize. I mean, post-traumatic stress syndrome is a real thing in my experience and, you know, childhood instances of a lot smaller magnitude than molestation lead to PTSD in adults. So that's, I mean, so that's what she was focused on there. But even there, she's like, I'm not an alcoholic, I'm not an addict, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's a lot of blaming everything that's gone on around her, which not, I'm not saying it didn't happen and that it's not valid and that it's not something that has to be dealt with. But at some point, you have to say, here's my role in this, and here's the stuff that I've done. And that is part of being able to move past the, the real bullshit that happened to you and around you. Um, and I don't see any signs of her doing this. And... It's bad for her. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, every time she gets a microphone, she has to bring up the fact that uh, Triple H broke her heart by cheating on her Stephanie McMahon, which I think they admit is true, but it doesn't, there's nothing that can be done to change that now except to, to process it and move past it. Um, and, you know, the stuff with, with X Pac, the, you know, that all happened. Process it and move past it. Don't deny, don't create a different version of it. And don't keep cr bringing it back up because you know that it's going to get you attention. I mean, I think that's something else that we saw with Scott Hall here is I don't think it's a coincidence that his slips came when he started taking indie bookings and flying to Vegas and he was going to, you know, get released. He was going to be on Jeff Jarrett's new promotion, Global Force. That's tricky stuff for somebody who has a tenuous grasp on sobriety and stability even. Forget take drugs and alcohol out. That's a lot of drama that sucks you back down into old patterns and prohibits you from making any positive changes in your life. So that's my concern here is that Joan Lauer knows that she can, if somebody's going to give her a microphone, whether it's her own podcast just like this, she's done that in the past, whether it's Opie and Anthony and Jim and Sam Roberts, whoever is all is involved in that radio show, um, fucking Vince Russo. She don't. She doesn't need you white knighting her, sir. She's all right. Um, well, she's not all right though. But what? But giving her a microphone to say, "Here's how I was wrong. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me," isn't helping. And that's the problem. Is that every time she does this, every time she makes some, you know, vague accusation about abuse from Triple H, or, you know, denies that she has had any drug or alcohol problems, but not owning up to some of the the shit that she's done, um, you know, that's, that's not, she's not getting any better. And we're, I fear that the more that the, the negative behavior gets reinforced, the closer we are to, you know, another dead wrestler, which sucks in general and on a purely selfish level makes it very hard for me to keep watching wrestling with any sort of, you know, dissonance about how horrible it's been in the past to those that have entertained for our, you know, performed for our entertainment. So, please, I'm asking you, as, as your internet friend, Sean, and like I said, in all seriousness, as somebody who has, you know, I just, it honestly, is still dealing with some of the same issues myself, and just knowing from my personal experience, and my loved ones and friends around me, what works in doing that is not, you know, publicly moaning about the past and 
getting some reinforcement from that because all of a sudden your name is trending on Twitter and stuff. So please, when you see the headline that says Joan Lauer accuses Triple H of blah, 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 don't click on it. Move along. And maybe someday, I mean, the Hall of Fame, forget the Hall of Fame. This is one of the great things that Jake Roberts was saying when he was, and one of the ways that I knew that he was getting serious about changing his life is who knows about the Hall of Fame? Who knows if it has ever returned to the ring? Any of that. If we have a hope of Joan Lauer living a long life with some measure of peace and happiness, the best thing that we can do is to not pay attention to her right now because that will force her, whatever it is that she's going through in her life, and I am not downplaying those things in the past or in the present, but if we don't pay attention to her, she will have to deal with it. 